Hello, it's April 2022, and are we nearly there yet? Well, we kicked off in London and went up to Primrose Hill with Mel. And I used to go through here every day on the way to Baker Street, walking through Belsize Park, because I lived opposite Belsize Park tube station. Here it is, and if you look across the road from there, you've seen the greengrocers where Dominic and I lived in the 80s. We had a great time. Next day then, off to the Limehouse Basin, we wanted to connect the Thames with the Regent's Park Canal. We had a Riverside pub, St Anne's, the Hawksmoor Church, and then up the canal to see how Matt and Amber are uh, bedding in into their new trendy flats. That was good. And then off to celebrate Charlie's 25th birthday, uh, Henry and Michelle are marvellous hosts with a fantastic meal and a fantastic walk. Happy birthday, Charlie. Uh, then another highlight was Rome with Matthew. This is a delayed 21st birthday. There is a video all about this if you want to go into more detail. Suffice to say, we had a great time. Renaissance art, look at that. Yes, the devil's arsehole and a trendy old fear. Bit of art as well. And you know what? No flights cancelled this time because of COVID. It's all over, hopefully. Uh, then back to Sir Ancestor, and I've become an honorary Pates boy and I'm of the company of such distinguished gentlemen. Matthew came to see Granny on my birthday under the blossom tree, and Mum gave me this blossom tree on my 40th birthday. How nice. Waving goodbye to Abbey House after 23 years, but not to Sir Ancestor. I regard it as a suburb of Cheltenham now. Here I am with Gordon. We had lunch in the graveyard. Octavius Bookshop, Matthew will be pleased to know, is still there. And Bob, our drummer and hairdresser. Daniel is home because he's come to see his daddy. daddy. So Daniel came to see Granny, which was very nice indeed. And I think she's doing well. So that's a nice photograph there. So the big question is, are you going to San Francisco? Because Thomas is, yes, Mike has set him off for a fortnight to go off there. And, and I have to say that Daniel and I are very worried about whether or not he'll cope. Thomas, it's Dad and it's Daniel. Daniel, say something nice to Thomas. Yeah, yeah. We hope you're having a great time in America. Bye-bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. So Thomas has gone one way and Dominic's come the other way from San Francisco. All Hagues love trees. They do. They love pontificating in the garden and they especially love pups. I think this is the main reason Dominic came back. And I then went back to Swansea. First time since I've sold the old house. And you know what? It looks exactly the same. Yes, there it is. Met up with old Seamus, strolling along there, picked up Mr Eccles in his new flat and went off to the Queen's. Seamus. He hasn't had to lift a finger in 30 years of married life, so I took him off to the football. Here's Mike with his brother and uh, Mike with his lover. And I think me, me, yes, me. Then we went up to some Middlesbrough people, must be cousins of Rachel, I'm sure. Uh, and, you know, well, we're not there yet, but we're nearly there in Nam. The, the pool's open, which is great, even though the water is sub-zero with icebergs floating around in it. Uh, Cheltenham itself, all the trees have come out in leaf, which is absolutely beautiful. Mel and I really enjoying our garden, looking at the blossom coming out there. looks very nice. And doesn't Mel look lovely here? I've had enough, though, of uh, living in the garage. So I've got to wait for the house to be ready. You can see the outside's been painted. And here's Dave inspecting the work with the boys up the ladders. And it's, it's, yeah, it's just about there now. It's starting to look good. And we're very, very pleased with the, the colour palette. The driveway will be done by this time next month as well. Uh, but the tiles never turned up, so we couldn't do the big room. And you can see the stairs uh, just about being finished off. Radiators, wallpaper, carpet underlay. Yeah, the landing upstairs is coming along nicely. I think it's going to look beautiful, actually. Uh, here are the boys working hard, Dave and Guns, yes, if you can try and spot Amir there, you're doing very well. And Daniel has rejoined uh, the team, that's excellent. Here's Steve with his boys, and these boys catch on really fast, this is the way, this is the way to do it. Uh, very, very exciting as the veranda all kind of comes together. Uh, the boys wildly excited, and it does it, will it fit? Yes, you know what, I think it will, and the house is starting to return to its former glory. Uh, the Jazz Festival was also on for the first time in, in two years, so that's uh, really nice. Uh, took Mel along for a bit of a surprise, went most days, first of all to Emily Sonday, which, which was great. And then Joanna Shea Shaw Taylor, who's a blues rock. <laughs> And then Corrine Bailey Ray, and we really enjoyed that going with the Baileyses. Here's Nigel in the whiskey bar. What a great place. That was a good evening uh, as well. 
And finally, we went off to see Marvin Gaye with Chris and Sally, Mike and Bowman. That was great. And talking about wise old boffers. Sally, what job do you think David should have? <laughs> priest. Catholic, Catholic priest. Catholic priest, definitely. In the supply. <laughs> Dominic, what do we need to do? You just explained it to me. Say again. Okay, so I think what you need to pull this out is a colour on the door that is complementary to this specifically, to this surround colour. Yeah. Which could be the right shade of salmon. Salmon, and that's independent of me. So yes. great, great minds think alike. That's right. Because you could go with the brickwork. Yes. yes. So there you are. Their wisdom rests slightly on their brow. See you next month. Bye-bye.